a Boundary Waters excursion. We are in mid, mid to late February here in 2023. We got a whole gaggle of people here going out for like four nights, five days, something like that. And uh, it's gonna be a hoot and a good time. Thanks for coming along. All the way out here from Indiana. All right, let's go. Just leaving the trailhead and uh, we got a little ways to go over this portage across the lake and eventually find camp. It's snowing. Would you like one? I would, thank you. They're disgusting looking, but I think you'll enjoy would you like one? <laughs> kind of looks like a bear turd. What is happening, friends? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I do a lot of backpacking trips, a lot of outdoor excursions like you see here in the wintertime, spring, summer. Do some travel. And I do a lot of reviews on the gear I use on this trip. So if you're new here, Consider subscribing to the channel. I find myself in northern Minnesota, bordering Canada actually. So close to Canada, one of them has infiltrated our group. But uh, this is a, uh, like a four night excursion into the boundary waters. There's some ice huts out here, but we're not the only group with this in mind. There's a lot of hardy people up in this part of the country. But they're not afraid of a little snow a little cold like that guy there's some more people coming but again thanks for stopping by let's have a good time look at you hi so we're on bear skin lake and this is about half hour from grand marie minnesota so we're on the lake superior side instead of the ely side now we're gonna do a portage, we're gonna cross over into Duncan. And then from there, we have a lot of work to do from firewood, setting up tents, and all that kind of fun stuff. These trips are a lot of fun, but they're a lot of work. And that's kind of the part I love about it. I probably have 100 pounds, maybe a little bit more than that on my sled. This is a sled from Black River Sleds. It's a cottage vendor out of Montana. He builds all these by hand. And this thing pulls. You know, just like it's it's greased up, it pulls so well. It distributes the weight, which is really nice. But it's made out of that ultra molecular, high density polyurethane. Something like that. This is the portage, or as Americans like to say, portage to Duncan Lake. Now it's a strip of land that you gotta go over to get to the other body of water. Now, this one's got a pretty good hill to it. This is where the weight of my sled is felt. And the good news is, if my sled is about 110 pounds, I'm 210. Should be fine, right? Made it to the top. Pack heavy, they said. It'll be fine. It'll be fun, they said. We have no bananas. We have banana. no bananas today. Because they're on me live, she's pants. Can't you see it? Can't you say? Hey, hey, hey. A great day. Hey, I'm Shug. I'm on this trip pretty much just as a wrangler. Kind of a grip. I just pick up everybody's camera and hand it back to them. <laughs> All right. This is probably not going to be good. Coming in, Milo, watch out, buddy. Coming in hot. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Oh, put on the brakes. Put on the brakes. <laughs> Man down. Toboggan life, y'all. We got ourselves another hill with a steep curve at the end. A 
and this may, <laughs> may prove to be a very, very large mistake. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, come around! Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. You okay? Right, come on there, buddy! Oh gosh! High five! All right, so here's where we're at. The guys over here said we should hug this uh, eastern shore here to be out of the wind. He's in for a cliff okay. or a hill. I mean, yeah, but th this, this is where the plan is, is gray. Whatever. Whatever. What are, you, what are you feeling, Rob? You feeling straight ahead? Oh, it looks like the wind's coming from straight so, ahead. So here's, yeah. So here's the thing. There are no campsites along this shore. This Just, side. This okay. side. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so now we're on Duncan. A portage that we went through. It was a pretty good one had a pretty good hill on it but this lake is a lot less trafficked because it's not right on a major uh, trailhead so the snow is deeper a little harder to pull with the sled but I believe our campsite is across the lake that way this is proper up north winter yeah Snow is deep, like three feet deep. After a little recon, we found our site. Now the actual campsite is up on the ridge, out on the point, and it's just way too exposed. But now we're down in this valley, we're protected, and uh, there's a big windbreak, and there's very, very easy access to the lake here. We'll be able to pull our sleds right up to this and zip on in there. The issue now is we all have shovels and we gotta start digging and create a flat spot for our tents. Look how magical this is. So this is home for a little while. So is that where we need to dig out? Or? Yeah, so when we step in, we can take our snowshoes off and then step into the tent. Right. And then the ceiling will be like 10 feet tall. This is what we got going on here. We're in three feet of snow. We're gonna keep the beds aloft on the snow. Got the uh, tarp set up, but the stove area has to be dug down because it's just gonna melt, right? But then that'll also be an area to where you can sit down and have your feet overhang the snow ledge. So just a little snow pit but we gotta find some logs to get the, the stove level. We got the stove set up. It's, it's not the most ideal situation, mainly because the ground is very, very uneven. My, I'm afraid that once we get a fire lit, this will all start to sink down and the stove will get all wonky on us. And that, that, could, uh, that could be an issue. But that stove is a beast for this tent. I borrowed it from my buddy. Uh, you can check out his channel, 6-2 Magoo Hiking Crew. But this is his stove, and I think it should make it plenty hot in here. Well, everyone's just kind of settling. It's just after 7 o'clock, and it's still snowing outside. It's getting it's starting to get cold as well. You got the boys hanging out over in uh, Parrish's tent. I'm in here getting dinner, rocking. What we're going to eat, and then uh, I think uh, we're going to hit the hay. Because there's been a, a few guys out here who's been camping the last few days since Friday, and they're, they're pretty tired and they're pretty beat, so I'm sure they're looking forward to a well rest of the evening but uh gonna sign off we'll see you in the morning
Thank you, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Wake me up with a sandwich and a cup of coffee. You light the fire. Morning from the snow trekker. It is 7.15. Woke up. Got the fire rolling a little bit. Got some coffee. Some early morning breakfast appetizer sandwiches. And what's nice about getting a little fire going, it just knocks off the chill. Uh, the temperature. 48 inside, minus 3 outside. I slept well though, slept warm. Now it's time to do nothing. Today's mission is firewood and lots of cooking and lots of eating and lots of lounging. But the amount of time we want lounging is directly corresponded with the amount of firewood that we process. So that means we need what's accurately described as a fuck ton of firewood. And I get to look around here for it. Oh, also, if you're wondering about water, since you know we're on a uh, huge chain of lakes, it's very, very basic. You bring a chipper bar, it's got a chisel on the end of it, and you just chisel through the ice. That's two feet of ice down there. So, lake water, make sure you boil it. I'm Yagi on the trail, and I dug this hole. That's a lie. <laughs> Last couple hours it's just been processing wood getting it all bucked up getting a fire pit dug out it's sunny it's really really nice out it's probably zero or two degrees something like that but in the sun it just feels amazing just a little camp tour I'm in my snow trekker tent got a bunk right here with some storage back there we got Toots's bedding here with his storage there up above, I fashioned a ridge line to hang stuff, a drying rack. And then the big Nico Alaskan stove with a five inch pipe. We got some lasagna heating up. We dug down this, this big pit. It's kind of a cold well and a place to step into. And in order to get up to the normal level, I put one of my little bins there. It serves, it serves as a step. And you come right out into camp. Now that's Andy's tent. I believe it's a pomali, a uh, sil nylon, I believe, and he's got a uh, a pomali tea brick stove in here. A lot of room in here. He's got a little stove set up his fan. Lots of wood to burn for the night. And there's three bunks. There's one over here. I believe that's Andy's. You got one against the tent wall. I think that might be Miyagi's or or Milosh's, and then one in front. But there's a lot of room to stand up. But you get the big center pole that you gotta be very careful. Now these TPs are nice, so they're light and they're roomy. Um, but I think I, I like the A-frame better. But that combo heats up really, really well. This whole area, there's three feet of snow underneath us. We've had to walk around snowshoes uh, all day yesterday to pack all of this down. If you step anywhere just off of this pack section, you will sink. I'll show you in a second. Behind my snow trekker, 
we dug a giant pit. Giant pit and we've been processing wood all day for a hell of a bonfire tonight. There's even tiered seating that Miyagi carved out and it's been tamped down and you got your sitting pads here. More wood on the way, more wood on hand. So tonight should be a really, really good burn. And I'm gonna go check out Shug's. Yeah, come, give us a little bit more there, Mr. Information. Yeah, uh, Shug's little domicile. We're gonna check that out here in just a second. Yeah, head on down that way. But uh, I, wanna show, I wanna show you something. So I'm on the main, main pack section here. That's just off the trail. Just like that. I mean, that's, that's thigh, thigh deep. Ah. Ah. Jeepers. Now, Shug's domicile, he's in a hammock because he's a king of lollygag. He got himself a nice little spot, wrestled away from the rest of us. And I believe he's rocking one of Danny's superior hammocks. Yeah, see, he's got it nice and organized and clean. But here you are, he's got his main highway. On the right side, he's got his polk ready to go, his snowshoes, all his cooking equipment lined up all pretty. And there he is. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? I'm in Shug's bedroom. And that's pretty much camp. As I'm coming from Shug's domicile, our camp is back there. Take a quick left, where the lads are still gathering wood. And now we have lake access. And our water hole is in the distance. At a great dinner and a wonderful bonfire. And it's starting to get cold. It's already minus eight outside. And it's 17 in here right now, but we'll get the stove warmed up. It'll at least get it up to freezing. And whoa, special delivery. Here, bud. Morning kindling. Good morning kindling. But we're gonna get changed and ready for tonight. And tomorrow's another adventure. Say goodnight, Toots. Night, guys.